right, well, I'm uh, back in eastern Montana for a time. This is uh, the some of the state lands out by the Yellowstone River. And I go kind of wander around the gravel bars, do some rock hunting, explore some of these sagebrush plains. But it's gonna be nice to, to be back in my home state at a time and make some some videos out here and show off some of the more local astonishing beauty and history that accompanies these places. So come join me on the first walk in eastern Montana in quite some time. The beautiful waters of the Yellowstone River are a place dear to my heart where I first developed my love of nature wandering its shores. Vivid crystal blues contrasting against the yellows and browns of winter. All its beauty, the Yellowstone is perhaps most famous for its rocks, with vast treasure troves of petrified wood and translucent golden agate. To film from the air when visiting home means Kava gets to play with her favorite toy at some risk to the drone. There's no joy quite like that felt by a dog. But when safely in the sky, the true wonders of the Yellowstone become most apparent, a patch of paradise close to home. Ice adds a whole new dimension to the river's beauty, textures and patterns mixing with the rock. Evidence of geese is everywhere. Same river, a different day and a different light. Okay, well, another day on the river. So currently in eastern Montana, this time by a different section of the Yellowstone River near Forsyth, Montana. And we're kind of just exploring this little trail here that runs next to the Yellowstone River. And we're kind of nearing the golden hour light. So there's gonna be a lot of just gorgeous, gorgeous light and shadows and things shining on the surrounding treetops and all that stuff. So it's gonna be a beautiful day. Just gonna do some wandering before leaving off to Yellowstone National Park in a couple days. For all its beauty and wonder, it is undoubtedly the late evening that the forests and grasses surrounding the river truly come to life. Shadows playing with golden light. Grass gains a vivid glow as the sun goes low. This time of day is truly a different world on the Yellowstone shores. Through the thick vegetation, adventure awaits. In 
the rock garden, small discoveries wait to be made. Stone agate revealed. Well, this thing is super, super cool. So there are a lot of Yellowstone agates along the Yellowstone River, and sometimes you'll see that kind of agate material mixed with other things. This is one of the first agates I found that actually has some like really nice kind of crystals on the outside, these white and clear crystals at the edge of the rock, but it's still definitely agate as well. That's super, super neat. Good find for the kind of late day. A beautiful flock of geese brought an amazing day on the Yellowstone River to a close. In the next video, I once again visit one of my favorite places on Earth, Yellowstone National Park, in the depth of winter's cold. Until then, wander in wonder. Wonder.